Hey, this is Michael with X-Force PC. This is not so much a review of Air Manager, but more of uh, showing you how we use it here in our store. We have a curved wall um, flight simulation system. It's uh, 180 degrees. It uses, uh, again, a curved wall and three projectors. So there's a computer for each projector, and then we have a small, it's actually a gigabyte bricks that's spelled B-R-I-X. It's just a little computer running an i3 processor that's powering our panel here for um, Air Manager. So right now we're flying a B1900D, and you'll see the instrument panel here for that. This is a pre-made panel. It's actually two pre-made panels. We're using a 29-inch ultra-wide, and so that's allowing us to have the six-pack panel as well as the engine panel for the B1900D. Normally, these would not fit on a conventional 1080p display unless you did some resizing, but since uh, we're using this ultra-wide, it actually fits on there kind of nicely. We don't have a touch screen here, so that's why we have a radio panel, a SciTech radio panel over here, and we've got a SciTech switch panel over here. We do have a mouse in here if we do need it um, for something, but for the most part, we can handle everything we need to with the uh, radio panel and switch panel. Now we do have a couple of other planes set up in here. Um, I've done a panel for the Baron. Excuse me, I know I'm totally in the way. But I have to do this to open up the Baron. And so the way we have it set up is whenever I open the Baron, for instance, you'll see my panel change to the Baron panel on Air Manager. And so now we have the Baron panel. And I made this panel, I kind of customized it. There is a pre-made Baron panel, I believe, but um, I customized this one to kind of spread everything out a little bit because we have an unusually wide monitor. Um, Air Manager kind of assumes you're using a 1080p display, 1920 by 1080. So since this was an ultra wide, it gave me a little more real estate and I was able to spread things out, make the radio uh, stack a little bit uh, bigger and so forth. So that's our Baron panel. And then, uh, of course, we have the trusty old Cessna 172 that we can open. And, of course, when I open the Cessna 172 on my flight simulator, X-Plane, it opens up the um, Cessna 172 panel on uh, Air Manager. And so let's... Go back to the Baron, put ourselves up in the air so you can kind of see this in action. Just going to stick us up in the air. Now the Air, Man air Manager comes with uh, some pre-made panels, as I mentioned earlier. Comes with, uh, I believe there's a 172, a Baron. Um, there's the B-1900D, um, I think there's a helicopter one in there. There's a lot of 737 instruments to allow you to configure a 737 cockpit. But of course, a lot of the common, oh, there's also, uh, I think, an SR-22, if I'm not mistaken. There's a lot of glass cockpit stuff. You know, you're seeing a lot of the analog instruments here, but there's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff for glass cockpits. Pretty much... Um, Aside from the GPS's, you can build just about in any instrument panel you need to with the large repository of instruments. So if you're not flying one of the, the planes mentioned here, the Baron, the B-1900D, the Cessna 172 or 152, uh, SR-22, if you're not flying any of those, uh, you got something different. You pretty much should be able to build your own panel and um, you know, get it really close to what you have in the actual airplane that you're flying. As I mentioned earlier, this is our uh, curved wall system. We're using uh, three projectors and the three computers are talking to each other that are driving the projectors and keeping everything in sync. So uh, I'll give you some shots of that and kind of how that looks. Kind of got this lit more for showing you the panel here, so it's probably a little hard to see what's going on you know, out here where the projectors are.
got any questions, send me an email, michael at xforcepc.com. Again, that is michael at xforcepc.com.